John here, Altic Reforged. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome. So, what's going on tonight? I'm out here in the workshop. I've been working on this here kitchen knife for a uh, Patreon giveaway all day long, pretty much, and it's coming along great. But it's freaking cold in this workshop, and I want to do something that's going to keep me warm. So, I got a project in mind. So, it's about time I learned to make mosaic Damascus. You know, I've been making Damascus for years now, and I haven't really stepped outside of conventional pattern welding techniques very, very much. And, you know, the comfort zone is where dreams go to die. So uh, I got a project in mind. So what I want to make is a pretty simple pattern as far as mosaic Damascus goes. Basically, we just stack up a normal billet with our 1084 and our 15 and 20, draw it out into a square stock, cut it up, and then we stack it up, kind of alternating so we get this basket weave pattern going. And then you do that a few more times to add, you know, more going on with it. And then flip it up on end to draw it out and do a stock to make a blade out of. So this is something I've been wanting to try. And like I said, it's cold and the forge going will keep me warm. So let's give right. it a go. So first things first, always with Damascus, make sure everything's clean. So we're going to grind off all this mill scale, get our work peg welded on. I already got the forge heating up, you know, another to it really. All right, we got the first forge weld done. Got this baby drawn out into a square stock that's approximately an inch square. I was hoping it wouldn't rhombus on me. I don't know if you can see or not, but it kind of did. So we're gonna have to fix that on the grinder, but we'll let it cool, grind the whole baby clean, uh, cut it up into four pieces that are the same length, alternate the end grain and go from there. All righty, we got everything cleaned up, cut up. I did a little bit of etching on the ends just to kind of see where the layers were. I got them stacked up alternating how I need them. We'll tack this baby together, weld the work stick back on and go from there. Alrighty, so this is kind of a tricky forge weld to pull off because you have seams going in both directions. Squaring dies would be good for this, but I don't have any and I don't really feel like stopping and making them, you know. People use them for canister too, but I've pulled off canister plenty of times without them. So I'm going to see if I can do it. Uh, basically, my plan is to press, turn, press, turn, press, turn all the way around. This uh, this billet's nice and fat, so it should hold welding heat a good long while. I'm not too, too terribly worried about it. But let's get this guy in the forge and see what happens. Alrighty, so we've done three welding passes now. It feels pretty okay. It seems like it's behaving as one piece of material. This is my first time pulling off a forge weld like this, so I'm not exactly sure. You know, I'm not as confident as I normally am. But I am gonna go ahead and grind off all that horrible mess going on in the end, and then we'll take it to the hammer and see if it holds together. That looks pretty stinking cool. I hope it holds together. But basically the next thing is just to draw it out or do a square stock and then do that again. Alrighty, we got this bad boy drawn out. I got a square stock that's about seven eighths of an inch right now. I'm gonna try to do this two more times. I don't know if we'll actually get that far because we're losing material pretty quick, but I'd like to do it two more times. But check out that grain, how cool is that? You can really tell where uh, which way the seams were facing in the original piece, that's really neat. Alrighty, so what I've done differently this time is I only cleaned up two sides of my bar because we're losing material pretty fast. So uh, I've just done a light test touch on the end grain to kind of see where things are. It's looking pretty good. So I'll orient everything so the clean sides are touching and uh, we'll forge weld this guy again. I tell you, it's been quite a while since I've been that unconfident going into a forge weld. You know, there was some serious gapping going on. 
and I had to grind off quite a bit of delamination going on in the end before I thought we might have good material. I'm going to keep it at welding heat when I draw it out just to, to hopefully close up any gaps that might be in there. But we might have something. Alrighty, so here's what we got after forge welding it and drawing it out square. This time you see I've ground all four sides cleaned. Last heat I mentioned I only did two. I found out pretty quick though I was having trouble kind of orienting the end grain how I liked it. Only having those two sides to work with. So I've gone ahead and just cleaned up the whole thing. And this next weld is where it's going to be really, really tricky because we're not going to have a lot of time to consolidate the material and work out gaps. Basically, we just got to stack it up into four, forge weld it together as best we can, and then we got to turn it up on its end, upset it, and draw it out into a bar. And if the welds are going to fail, they'll fail there. So uh, let's go. For wonder, and this is about what we're working with right here. Alrighty, so here we go, getting ready for the last forge weld. Uh, there's a little bit of gapping in some places, but this is infinitely better than it was last time. So we'll just give it a good, probably three good welding heats to try to get everything put together, clean off the ends, and then upset it and draw it out into a bar, and hopefully it holds up. You know, we might have a pretty cool pattern if it does. Alrighty, so I took two welding passes on the press to try to consolidate my material. More would be better, but this has to be upset, and if it gets too skinny, it could fold over and ruin the whole thing. Uh, so I put it in the vise to knock the work peg off of the hammer. I'm a pretty crappy welder, so it came off pretty easy. I ground the faces, and from here, it looks like we got good material, so uh, we'll throw this baby up on the press, draw it out on the ingrain, and I tell you, I am freaking terrified right now, so say a little prayer for me. So things seem to be going pretty well. And then on like the third heat, I saw some pretty major cracking developing on a couple of the weld seams. So I've grounded out as best I can and we're just gonna keep rolling with this thing and hopefully we can get something out of it. But you know, at this point it might very well be going in the trash. I don't wanna jinx it or get ahead of myself, but folks, we might have something here. Uh, I had to grind out a little more cracking as I was forging this thing out, but it's looking like I might've gotten through it all if the damn camera all focused. There we go. So we'll just keep going until we get a bar stock out of this and we'll see how far we can push it. I think we might have pulled this off. Let's uh, let it cool, clean off one side, throw it in some acid and see what we got. So here's what we got after one quick etch. It's definitely not the basket weave pattern I was going for, but it's something. It's pretty cool. So after all that rigmarole, we ended up with a billet that is approximately a quarter inch thick, inch and a half wide, and we've got about eight inches of usable material. So there's enough for a small knife or something like that there. Uh, if you got suggestions for things I can make with this, drop them down in the comments. So all in all, for my first attempt at mosaic, I'd say it came out pretty okay. It's nothing like the pattern I had in mind. But the fact that we got usable material at all, I'm pretty happy with. There was a lot of times during that project where I was pretty convinced that the whole thing was going to end up going in the trash, you know, from some of the dicey forge welds to grinding out that huge crack. But we were able to pull victory from the jaws of defeat, and we got something we can make something cool out of. So, like I said, drop your suggestions for uh, what you'd like to see made. I could get a small knife or something out of this. This probably, I learned a lot making this, and this is probably something that I won't attempt again until I have a mill or a surface grinder or something like having your pieces perfectly flat and perfectly square and everything is just a, an absolute must. And I was able to pull it off with the grinder, but it, uh, it's just, it's not something I'll attempt again until I have the better means to do so. Probably, maybe we'll see. But anyway, that's all I got for you. If you liked what you saw, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz, always more cool stuff coming. And, uh, y'all take care.